Hello Tubers, how are you today? Well today I'm going to go over another passage of the Bible. Something different, right? And uh, this passage is going to be from the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 2, verses uh, 15 all the way down to the end of uh, the second chapter. And uh, I'm going to use this reader here to... Um, to elaborate on the particular passage, and I'll go through it and uh, give you my opinion on this on this particular topic that I'm addressing today. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But... Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him an help meet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an helpmeet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Okay. Well, that's the passage I wanted to go through. <clears throat> I'll go over it. And there's some points I want to bring out in regards to why God made woman. I mean, there's, uh, 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 that's, that's, that's the important thing that I want to come o go over today. And if you look at this particular passage, Adam was given the responsibility of naming all the animals, right? God made them and Adam named them. It says here in verse number 19, and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast from the field, every beast of the field <clears throat> and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. <clears throat> and whatsoever Adam called every, liter, every living creature, that was the name thereof. <clears throat> so basically, if you go back, uh, you, uh, God made Adam through dirt. He grabbed some dirt and made Adam. And it also states here that out of the ground, the Lord formed every beast of the field, fowl of the air and brought them to, unto Adam. So basically every animal was made from the ground, Adam included. <clears throat> but God was, you know, God was um, bothered because he, he mentioned twice. He mentioned twice that basically, uh, and it says here in number 18, <clears throat> and the Lord God said, it is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. I will make him and help me for him, which basically means I'm going to make him a suitable uh, helper. Again, in uh, verse 20, it says, And Adam gave names to all the cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found and help meet for him. Basically, a, a, a suitable helper. 
So twice in this particular passage, <clears throat> God was bothered enough to, to mention that I got to get Adam a helper, a suitable helper. That's what God wanted, a suitable helper. So what does he do? It says here in number 21, God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh, and from the rib God had taken from the man, he made a woman and brought her onto the man. This was a rarity. This did not happen. Like I said before, every creature on the earth was made from the ground. God made every creature, including Adam, from the ground. This time he chose to make a, a being from one of Adam's ribs. And that became woman. Woman is not made from the ground. I believe it would, be, it would have been very easy for God to make another man. He already had made Adam. So he already made one. And through my experience, making the first of anything is the hardest. And then after you make the first one, the second one is easier. And then when you make more and more and more, it becomes easier and easier. It becomes a habit. So God stopped and he changed his ways. And he made a woman or another being through the rib of Adam, which is, like I said, totally different of what he did before. So why did he do that? Wouldn't it have been much easier for God to make another man and then another man and another man and another man? It would have been, it would have been easier, right? But God chose to make something different, a woman that was named woman, right? So why, why did God do that? But it goes back to the same question that God was already mentioning before. God wanted to make a suitable helper for Adam. God did not want to make another man. He didn't want to make another. Why did he want to make another man? Because basically there's a saying for that. There's too many, too many cooks in the kitchen. You know, that's what happens. You don't want a bunch of men. You don't want a bunch of men. He wanted a helper for Adam. A complimentary to Adam. He didn't want another man because he probably felt, God probably felt, if I make another man, they're not gonna, they're not gonna help each other. They're gonna probably be combative towards each other. So God in his infinite wisdom went and grabbed a rib from, from Adam. So they could be basically, and it says at the end, <clears throat> um therefore. Shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. That's it. That's why God did not want to make another man. He made a woman or he made another creature through the rib of uh, Adam because he wanted that particular, those two creatures to become one flesh. And basically they are one flesh because they came from the same flesh. That's why God wants us to marry a man with a woman. That's what, how we wanted it from the beginning. Here we are, Genesis 2. And going back to uh, George Michael and, and, and everyone else that's in this gay lifestyle, uh, you have to heed. There was a reason why God made a woman, because it would have been much easier for God to keep on making men. He really made one. He can make a bunch of them. 